In Creole Parametric, you can split and merge bomb balloons that have a quantity associated with them. Here I am in Creole. I've got a drawing open. It is of an assembly. The assembly view is exploded. Also, I've got a bill of materials that shows the quantities of various components. Let me zoom in a touch. And if you take a look at the first line in the bill of materials, there is a bolt with a quantity of 11. Let's start off by showing a bomb balloon for that line item. I'm going to use the table tab first to click on the table and then I will select the table. And I'm only doing that so I can go to the properties of the table easily. In the table properties dialog box, there is a bomb balloons tab. And for this repeat region, right now it's just set to a simple circle. I will use the drop down list to change this to a quantity split circle. In other words, it'll have the index number at the top of the circle and the quantity at the bottom of the circle. Let's click the check mark. And now that I've configured this table to use that kind of bomb balloon, well, let's throw a bomb balloon on there and to keep it nice and easy to see. Rather than throwing all the bomb balloons onto this drawing view, I'm just going to put one of them in there. I'll choose from the create balloons drop down list, create balloons by component and I'll just select that one or let me just select it here pick one of those components click the OK button and that way we just get the bomb balloon thrown on there let me click on it and just rearrange its location a little bit and I'm going to edit the attachment I'll move my mouse near where that white square is oh let me move it more towards the arrow there we go edit attachment and then just move it on there just so it looks a little nicer and so again right now we have the quantity balloon for the first item in the table with a quantity of 11 but these 11 bolts are sort of like all over this view and i don't want to show just you know one to item number one with a quantity of 11 i want to show item number one in a few different places so i can use the split balloons command in order to break up that quantity of 11 into other different balloons so i'll click on split balloons in the message area i'm being prompted to select a user balloon or a quantity balloon with a quantity larger than one i will click on the balloon i just placed and now it's asking me how many do i want to split off from this bomb balloon and i'm going to start off just with two of them and then hit the enter key and now in the message area i'm being prompted select the attachment of the new balloon so i'll just select this edge and then i'm being prompted to select the position of the new balloon and i'm just going to middle mouse click where i want it to appear and so now we have another balloon in the tool tip showing uh, we have another balloon that is showing for index number one there's a quantity of two over there and if you take a look at the original bomb balloon, well, it had a quantity of 11 since I stripped two away. Hey, it is down to nine. Let's do that one more time. Let's select the balloon. And by the way, after you do it one time, the split balloons command remains active if you want to keep on splitting. So let's select this one. And how many do I want to split off this time? Well, let's split off six and hit the enter key and then select my attachment and I know I have six over here and then where do I want the balloon located I'll position my mouse and then middle mouse button and so again now we have a new balloon that is showing again index number one but now with a quantity of six and the original balloon is down to a quantity of three and that's all I want to split away let me hit the middle mouse button to get out of the split balloons command oops selected the view and so there you see how I've split the different balloons. Well, let's say that after I split them, I decide that I want to get some of them back together. I don't want to have all these multiple balloons in there. You can use the merge balloons to take split balloons and then merge them. So let's choose the merge balloons command. And now I'm being prompted, select a balloon to be merged. So I'll select this one. 
and then select the quantity balloon to be merged onto, in other words, the target. I will select the original balloon, and let's hit the repaint to get rid of that little ghosting in the graphics area. Hey, now we have the original quantity balloon at five, three plus two, and we still have our original one over, or excuse me, the quantity six balloon over on the left. And I could continue merging balloons, but this is all I want to do. So I'll hit the middle mouse button to get out of the merge balloons command. And so that's how you can split bomb balloons with the quantity and then merge them back together. And one last command to show, redistribute quantity. When I click on redistribute quantity, I'm prompted to select a quantity balloon with quantity larger than one. For example, I will select the one with six and it says enter amount. I'll choose four. And then it prompts me to select another quantity balloon with the same index. So I'll pick another index of one and it takes those four and transfers them. Now you'll notice if I try to click on this one with two, or let's do this one. If I try to click on this one with two, I am not prompted for the quantity. I'm only allowed to transfer one of them. And so I'll pick it and that one gets transferred to the other balloon. Hey, let's make everything right again. Let's select this one. Let's transfer one over to this balloon. And let's once again pick this one and let's transfer four back to the original. And let's middle mouse click in order to complete the operations. And so that's how you can move quantities from one balloon to another balloon with the same index. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.